Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 11th of January. I am James Spann, and the weekend will feature temperatures near record levels. While we are warm, the west is brutally cold. We turn cold next week. We're going to stay cloudy and wet for a while. When will the sun come back? Uh, A lot of questions to talk about. Let's get in there and take a look. First off, some sky cam shots around the network this afternoon. That is coming from uh, Trussville. Low clouds, light rain, and drizzle. Gadsden, I promise the city is down there somewhere. You just can't see it. The camera's up in the clouds. and uh, About the only bright sky that I can find is on the Alabama Gulf Coast. Uh, That's our Gulf Shore sky cam where there's some filtered sunshine down there. But up this way, prospects of sun just look bleak for a while. Talk about high amplitude. Look Look at the deal there. Big, cold trough in the west. Warm ridging in the east. Yeah, you can pick out the difference there. Uh, Up in Montana, temperatures are at like zero with heavy snow falling at mid-afternoon. And uh, around here, Montgomery is at 80 degrees. Wow. Now, that's not a record. The record for Montgomery today is 83, set in 1949. We got mostly 60s up in here with the thick clouds and rain. Uh, Some low 70s up in the Tennessee Valley, and we're going to stay very warm for the weekend with low and mid-70s likely. But don't get used to it. Uh, Here's a look at the... uh, Temperature crash coming Sunday night. Uh, uh, You can see Sunday will reach the low to mid-70s, but Monday, I don't know if we can get out of the 40s. Um, uh, Most models are suggesting no. In fact, really, this is showing on most of the models, we're going to have a hard time reaching 50 all week next week. Uh, And uh, again, with that clouds and rain on Monday and Tuesday, it's going to be raw and cold. Uh, This is the uh, accumulation Look, and this is suggesting rain amounts of about one to two inches over the next five days. That sounds about right. Don't think the the flooding issues will be that extreme here or the flooding will be a problem here. If we have any, it's going to be northwest of here. And do I dare show this? Uh, (laughs) I don't know where that where that little spike is coming from. This is like the 12Z GFS trying to spike at little light snow here Thursday night or Friday morning. And it's showing the snow accumulation of You know, under a quarter of an inch, no big deal, but we'll dig in there and look at modeling here in just a minute. Boy, that thing's lit up like a Christmas tree. Uh, That is the uh, watch warning map around the nation. Uh, Big winter problems up north. Heavy snow, blizzard conditions uh, from the mountains, uh, the Rockies, uh, Wasatch Front, all the way up to the Canadian border. And uh, high wind problems for parts of Texas, Oklahoma. New Mexico, southeast Colorado, southwest Kansas, Uh, flooding issues perhaps over parts of uh, uh, Arkansas, flash flood watches going up into West Tennessee and North Mississippi. A lot of things are happening here. We'll drill deep into this. Convective outlook, this is day two. This is tomorrow. The guys at SPC have thrown up a slight risk uh, for parts of east Texas, north Louisiana, and the central and southern part of Arkansas over toward the Mississippi Delta. And uh, that's where the cold front slicing into the unstable air. Could be a few severe storms, but again, despite the warmth, I don't think we have severe weather problems here Sunday evening when the front comes through. Uh, This is the rain for the next five days. And again, you can clearly see the big bullseyes around Memphis and Paducah with amounts maybe around four, four and a half inches there. And in Alabama, the amounts taper off tremendously from the northwest corner with uh, about two inches down to uh, one half inch for Dothan. There's a very tight gradient there. And if you look at the uh, NAM, this is the 12Z NAM. This is the expected rain, which carries us through uh, Monday evening of next week. The really big numbers are north and west of here, uh, up around the Shoals, Nashville, uh, down toward uh, uh, Vicksburg, Mississippi. Now, that will be working its way to the south. But again, I just don't think flooding is going to be a problem here, despite the fact that it's going to rain on us at times, at least through Tuesday of next week. Uh, Let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. Cold trough in the west, 
warm ridge over the southeast. And down below that tomorrow should be really a lot like today. A lot of clouds. Uh, we'll have a few showers around, and we'll make a run at a record. Our record high is 75 tomorrow, and that's basically our forecast high. Uh, so I think that record was set back in the 40s sometime. Uh, I just don't think we see much sun. The rain won't be heavy here, but like today, just light rain or drizzle. Very similar to today, except maybe a smidgen warmer. Sunday, that axis of heavy rain sets up. Uh, and you can see Kentucky, West Tennessee, North Mississippi, and that's where flooding issues will have to be watched. Around here Sunday will be warm again with low 70s and definitely a chance of light rain at times, but nothing really heavy. The heaviest rain stays north and west of here. Monday of next week, that wavy front just sags in here, and we should begin to turn sharply colder. Uh, and the GFS moss is coming around to uh, reality, I think. It's got a high of 48. We'll basically sit in the mid-40s all day long, cold, wet, raw, miserable. Uh, and there's Tuesday... Same deal. I don't think we get out of the 40s. It'll be cloudy. Now, the rain kind of shifting down to the south, but still a chance of some lingering light rain on Tuesday. Now, Wednesday, uh, the GFS is dry, and you'll see in a minute the European is dry. So pretty good agreement that that's our break in the rain. And by golly, the sun might come out, might, for just a little bit. High should be in the low 50s if that happens. But uh, Thursday, again, the GFS is dry. And then Friday, the strong shortwave shows up up around uh, Memphis and uh, this is trying to squeeze out maybe a few snowflakes around Memphis. I don't know why that chart had plotted a little bit of snow. This doesn't support snow based on these thickness values. But Friday, the GFS is suggesting there might be some light rain. Let's look at the European, which has done much better. Again, this is Wednesday. And again, both models are dry. So just maybe we'll go partly sunny for a day. Uh, now, Thursday, the, the European goes wet. The, the GFS is dry. The Euro is wet. And I think this is probably the right solution. You know, the GFS does try to swing something through here Friday. But we'll stick with this. A good chance of rain on Thursday. And then Friday, it's gone. Uh, Friday would be cold and dry if this is right. 540 line, not too far from Huntsville. So the, the weather next week, uh, <laughs> much better agreement. Wet, cold Monday and Tuesday. A dry day Wednesday. Then a chance of rain Thursday. Cold and dry Friday. Uh, you want some coal? Let's look at this. This is the 22nd of January. Woo, ouch. Big trough in the east. Look at those uh, thickness values, the cold air advection. Yeah, Betty, the isobar is perpendicular to the thickness lines. I mean, that's cold. We, we might not get out of the 20s if that's right. And on the 27th, the snow lovers are going to love that. Uh, surface low that's a little too far north. But that pattern would favor maybe some snow in the northern flank of that mess. And this is voodoo here. This is not a forecast. We're just looking out here. But, uh, again, something like that would not be totally surprising. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We will have notes on the blog. My next video will be Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders, will have the updates tomorrow and Sunday. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Who's got time to listen to boring radio shows? If you're going to listen to something, listen to something good, like Eavesdrop. My favorite thing about Christmas is not the presents. No. And it's not the million no. Christmas parties. And it's not playing Dirty Santa. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about relationships. relationships. I know. I know exactly where you're going it, with that. Yeah. It, it just is. It is. And take the time. What if this is your last Christmas yeah. and you never know? Just talking it up. They may use the name Jesus in a terrible way when they hit their thumb with a, you know, <laughs> with a with a hammer by accident on right. Saturday afternoon when they're working on their car. But don't bring Jesus into a song and give him a beer. That ain't right. Hey, I know a few of those <laughs> folks myself. Bama Talk Show. But before we head for the Dome, we got business to take care of at home. So making plans for the throwdown in downtown Atlanta, we'll have to wait until that post-game rammer jammer rings in the postseason for Bama and the offseason for the barn. Auburn unleashed. That magical score that, that Auburn fans remember, 17-16, came out of that game. And Bill Newton was responsible for the, for the chant, punt, Bama, punt. Bill, thank you for joining us. Uh, good afternoon, Adam. I appreciate y'all having me as uh, the first guest on your show. Worldview Matters. And, you know, we've been talking about a number of things. Last couple of times we talked about socialism. We moved from Islam to socialism, and we were going to continue today to do the same thing. But a lot of things have happened in the world in the past 10 days. Uh, 
it's oh, heated yeah. up again in, in, in Israel. So I thought it'd be a good uh, chance for us to talk about some of the things that relate to worldview as it relates to the Israeli situation and Egypt and all that's going on in the Middle East. High School Heroes. And the plane goes right through the bl- bridge and doesn't catch on fire. There's tons of stuff, man. Uh, Tons of unrealistic stuff, but hey, it was really cool, actually. Warning, any of these shows can be addictive, and they are all fun. Listen on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.